The One Million March for Children is about to get underway, and the real question is, is will it be peaceful, or are we going to see a lot of pushback? Let's get into it. Oh, yeah! What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to The Fringe. And the One Million March for Children has been a controversial event uh, being organized over the past uh, eight weeks or so, um, at least in full swing. And uh, it's going to be interesting to see what happens uh, tomorrow as uh, the protest gets underway. Many have been saying that there's going to be anti-protest going on. Of course, we're probably going to see a lot of the usual uh, anti-type people there, a lot of the alphabet crowd hanging around as well, no doubt. Uh, and the question arises as to whether or not this is going to be a safe protest to be at or if things are going to be peaceful or if we're going to see any form of government pushback. We have yet to see, uh, especially when you look at cities like my own, like Calgary, uh, where we have a failed virtue signaling mayor who stands on the side of, um, I guess you could say, non-parental rights when it comes to uh, children deciding what's best for them. So it's going to be interesting to see as things unfold. And of course, we'll be covering those events on the channel as they happen and as they unfold. Uh, but one thing I wanted to talk about is what is going on around the country and, and what outlets are starting to say about it. Um, and something you can actually do to help what's going on now rather than just protest. And let's take a look at something new right now. Shameless plug, but our newest book uh, from Unacceptable Fringe, The Young Kid's Guide to Grooming, arrived on shelves Friday uh, afternoon and is now available for purchase over on Amazon. Uh, I know a lot of people don't like Amazon. A lot of people don't want to support Amazon. But unfortunately, I can't find another self-publishing company that wants to produce and distribute these books. Now, this book, of course, as it is a guide to grooming, uh, you'll notice how it's the kid's guide uh, to grooming. And if you look at the cover, of course, uh, Riley and Vera Young. Uh, who are the two twins in our story, are quite dirty on that cover. And, of course, they just want to know how to groom themselves when this ghost shows up who looks an awful lot like he might have some flight logs or something. Um, and he tries to show them a thing or two about grooming. Now, maybe he misunderstands them, but these kids get a little bit in over their head as their journey goes on with this ghost. So go pick up your copies. Now, the reason that this book and buying this book uh, can help towards the Million March for Children is that uh, over the first 30 days, all revenue, uh, or, or a portion, I should say, of revenue uh, that comes in uh, will be donated to the Child Advocacy Center of Calgary for abused children. Uh, while I write comedy for a living in satire, I don't think there's anything funny about kids who have been sexually harmed or sexually abused. My good friend Theo Fleury recommended this organization, and upon looking into them, it seemed to be a very reputable organization and one that really seeks to help and improve life for children that have been rough cause. So I will have a link in the description for the book, um, or you can find it on your Amazon. If you do a search for the Young Kids Guide for Grooming, go pick up your copies, support uh, independent, I guess, uh, book writing or book publishing, uh, pick up a copy and uh, also support some kids that, that need a little bit of uh, help when it comes recovering from abuse. Now, the Million March, if we take a look here, um, now you'll have to check your local listings as to uh, what is going on. Of course, follow the hashtag 1 million March for children um, that you can see here in the poster for this. Um, and you can find um, listings in your city or town as to what is going on and how people are going to be meeting up for this protest. Now, you can see here for Ottawa, it's the, uh, the Hands Off Our Kids, Protect Parental Rights, One Million March for Children, National Call to Action, Ottawa, Ontario, Parliament Hill. Uh, this will be Wednesday, September 20th, uh, which is tomorrow at 9 a.m. And it says, bring your kids. So, of course, this sounds like it's going to be a peaceful protest, at least on the protester side. People wanting to bring their children, it's to probably show their children um, that uh, parents are, in fact, fighting up for their rights and out for what's best for them. Um, I'm very hopeful that we don't see any radical anti-protest uh, going on that would in any way, shape, or form put these children at risk. I certainly would not want to discourage families from taking their children, uh, but maybe take a look 
uh, around your areas, look at what the consensus is before taking your children to the um, While I do agree that we need to do everything to save our children, of course, we don't want to see any children get harmed or hurt during these protests. So keep an eye open, see what's going on. But Maxime Bernier posting this, this uh, poster here uh, that he'll be at the 1 million March for Children in Ottawa this Wednesday. Uh, join Billboard Chris and um, Josh Alexander, sorry, uh, for their march in Toronto on Friday. So they'll be doing a march on the 2nd. Sorry, uh, yeah, 22nd on Friday. Um, of course, we can see a poster for that here. Uh, September 22nd at 11 a.m. It's going to be at the Wallingford Road and Cassandra Boulevard, Victoria Park Collegiate Institute, um, where uh, Billboard Chris and Josh Alexander are going to be speaking and uh, they're to support children. They're going to be support happening pro parental rights for children. Now, I am an advocate for pro parental rights. I do believe that strangers should not be telling your children what to be doing with their bodies, uh, putting in their bodies, whether or not their decisions are validated. I think it's safe to say in today's society that a larger majority of parents are probably more accepting than they used to be, let's say two decades ago. Um, things are a little more progressive these days. Uh, parents, certainly, I know we've had the discussion in my household, you know, if, if our children ever decided that they wanted to explain to us that, that they have certain preferences, sexuality, my wife and I have always been very open to say that, listen to what they have to say, but we would also be respective of what age they were when telling us those things maybe question how they feel that way and what is made them come to those decisions. Um, I think at any point in that decision-making process, a child's mind is very underdeveloped. They're not able to really... <laughs> I know a lot of teenagers who don't even know how to decide what to wear to school, let alone uh, what sexuality they, they, they want to back or what preferences they have. Um, I know people that have got tattoos and then changed their mind uh, a week later and said, I wish I never did it. So I, I think when it comes to these things, it's not really important to say yes or no. It's more important to guide and be supportive um, while also trying to understand the process of why somebody is thinking the way they're thinking. Um, and I think that's one thing I would definitely, my children, um, what derived you to this decision? Um, what is it plans are? And um, maybe go from there and, and work together to find a solution mutilating your body. Um, now, of course, the Daily Citizens put out an article. And again, we don't really go into articles too often last week. Um, and I just wanted to kind of touch base on this. Uh, Canadian businessman and Muslim activist, uh, Kamel El uh, Chikik, sorry if I'm pronouncing that, uh, has organized a One Million March for Children on Wednesday, September 20th, to protest schools indoctrinating and sexualizing children with LGBT ideology. Protesters have also planned a Canada-wide school walkout that day. The post-millennial conservative Canadian news outlet reported on the event, uh, adding that the goal is to bring together a million Canadians of all faiths from the coast. Now, this is the one thing I do like about this event, is that it's bringing people from all religions, all nationalities together, instead of dividing. Now, our Prime Minister has a long-standing history of trying to divide this country. And it's quite refreshing to see... Um, an outlet try to bring people together. Um, it's it's um, it's going to be interesting to see what happens. And I, and again, until we have more information post uh, post the million march, then uh, we we all we can really do at this point is speculate. Uh, some of the groups promoting promoting the event include Blueprint for Canada, Parents Rights Coalition of Canada, Citizen Media News, uh, Mama Bears Project, and Save Canada. Josh Alexander is the founder of Safe and the youth leader event. You may know him as the Canadian teen who was suspended from St. Joseph Catholic School in Renfrew, Ontario, for saying in class that there are two sexes, genders, uh, calling male breastfeeding uh, um, e-word and quoting uh, Mark 10, 6, where Jesus says, but from the beginning of creation, God made them male and female. Now, taking religious perspectives aside, what we have to remember in anything here is that we're discussing the mindset of human beings. While I don't volunteer to 
play the make-believe game when it comes to how somebody certainly have to take into account that there are people out there with feelings. There are people out there that either have some form of a mental disorder or feel a certain way because of ideologies that have, or influences in their lives that have directed them to make the decisions that they are. Um, which is, again, why I'm really hopeful that this protest is going to be peaceful. I hope that it's going to progress the message uh, because when it comes to schools, when it comes to young children, well, quite frankly, I think that other people need to leave those kids alone and allow us the opportunity as parents to judge what is best for children in our own households. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think. Uh, do you think we're going to see any kind of pushback? Do you think we're going to see um, anything withstanding from this crowd? I, I mean, I, I think based on the way they behave, uh, the anti-protesters, we'll call them, uh, I think we might see a little bit of disruption, but who knows? Let's, let's see what happens. Uh, if it's your first time here, I hope this video has earned your subscription. Please hit that subscribe button as you uh, join our small fringe minority, which is now ballooning into a large fringe majority. And turn on your bell for notifications as we go live every Sunday here on the channel at 6.30 p.m. time for the weekly wrap, where we talk about everything that's gone on in the week and everything that's going to happen in the week ahead. And I'm sure this week we'll be discussing a lot of what happened at the March. And it's always great to hear my community chime in and give their point of view. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll catch you on the next one.